Okay, in this video I will show you how to build a simple RFID lock for your charging station uh, for any actual charging station if it's any AC charging station it's based on Arduino microcontroller and RFID RC522 RFID reader so when you upload the code to Arduino and you switch the power for the first time you will hear the 5 beeps and then 4 beeps I will show you in a second so power on Five beeps means uh, no master tag or card programmed, and uh, four beeps means no user card or card programmed. Uh, the first card or tag you will touch, it will become a master tag, so you will have to use it every time you want to program a new user card. You will have to use the master card or tag. I got two cards and one tag so I will use a tag as a master so at the moment there is nothing programmed in because it beeped five times and four times so I'm touching a, this tag and it became a master tag it beeped one long and three shorts uh, that means it's programmed successfully Let's have a look how, how, how it works. I will close that. Um, you don't need to modify anything on the charging station except the pilot cable. You disconnect it from main board or the controller in your charging station and connect it to relay. And then relay connect is connected to the charger pilot signal contact so what it basically basically does it opens the contacts so until you swipe the card there is nothing connected so no charging is possible uh, I will show you in a second how that thing works okay so now there is no user cast program so it won't do anything three times that means so it be three times when I touch the master tag and then it beat one long and two short uh, beeps then I touched the new card so it became a user card and uh, this one is not programmed in so if I touch it beeps two times that means it's not recognized again it's not recognized so that's a charger plug that's extension cable which is connected to the vehicle so if I connect it nothing happens because the, the blue light means it's in it's not charging waiting for car then the green light switches on that means the charging is started so as you see nothing happens the plug is connected I touch the user card switches on and it's charging if I disconnect switches off and if I reconnect it back nothing happens until I swap the car uh, so let's leave this connected try the wrong car it's nothing nothing actually happens so you can leave it disconnected swipe the card and then you have 20 seconds if you don't connect in 20 seconds it will be th three times and it, it will lock itself again 
so you won't be able to charge I will show you in a minute so three times and connected it's not charging disconnect so I'm connecting now back to car so it's charging disconnecting charging have stopped so to program a new card just this one it says incorrect I touch the master card master tag and then a new card it's programmed now so I will be able to use this one to start charging and you touch a master tag you have five seconds to add a new new card don't keep master ca uh, tag for too long on the reader because it will program itself as a user card uh, so as soon as you hear the three beeps you can remove the master tag then you have two seconds after you hear the beep you have two seconds to remove it and then you have three seconds to program the new card so now this one is programmed and it activates the charging so uh, the code on my website all the all the information diagrams and the code you will find in my website the link is in the video description below so uh, the code in my website lets you add two user cards and after this them two cards added uh, you won't be able to program more cards I, I did this to stop people from using the my or someone else code for the commercial products so I think two cards is more than enough for the normal user and so I will show you what happens if I try to program more cards sorry oh it's charging and it's charging it won't do anything if you touch the tag wait till you disconnect when you disconnect it three times try to add another card and it beeped 10 times that means the last card you tried to program wasn't added because it reached the limit the limit is two cards if you want more cards just send me a message I will alter the code and we'll send it to you uh, but I won't share the sketch the Arduino sketch in Inno format sorry okay so we'll show you what to do when you reach a limit and you want to delete the old cars and to program the new ones on the Arduino board the digital 2 pin in is the reset pin so as soon as you shot it to the ground it raises all and then for short beeps that means the master card is deleted and there is no user cards programmed anymore the first card you will touch will become a master card I will use this one this time I will use this card to, to make it master don't remove it too fast because it will lose the code and they'll program the random code it won't recognize the next time you touch it make sure you don't wiggle while it's reading 
So I'm touching in MasterCard and let's make this one as a user. Okay. Don't swipe it too fast because it won't recognize it. I'll show you in a minute. Let's disconnect it. If you swipe it too fast, it will it beeps twice. That means it was too slow on reading. So basically that's it. Have fun with that project. Remember, don't play with the charger while it's connected into power supply. Because don't don't play with the charger while it's connected to power supply because it's uh, if you catch them terminals, which is the main terminals, probably will be dead. Okay, so. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice project if you decide to make one.